Honestly, I mean, they're one of the best fans in DMV. What's going on, y'all? It's your boy C Marty Fit, and we back here with another episode of the Less Bunches, More Crunches podcast. It's Wednesday evening. Um, I had a light day at work today. I didn't really uh, have too many clients today, man. I, and I that workout today kicked my butt. But look, I still got some energy for the podcast. Man. So. Listen, man, so with all that being said, let's get into the episode, man. So first thing I want to point out is, you know, with my clients, it's just one thing I'm noticing, man. And I, I know going to the gym is hard. It's a, it's a tough process, but I can't coach intensity, bro. I cannot coach your intensity. You got to come to the gym, whether you feel like it or not. Whether you sleepy, whether you tired from the night before, frustrated, angry, you gotta come in the gym. When you and when you step in that gym in the workout, I need a certain level of intensity, man. That's just reality. You gotta bring a certain level of intensity to the workout. Because if you let the outside outside stuff affect you, you you're in there lollygagging, you're not going hard, you're not gonna get the results you want, and you're gonna uh, uh, eventually blame me for it. That's just a fact. <laughs> You're gonna blame me. Oh, his workouts didn't work. This workout, didn't. and you in there, you you not breaking a sweat. Your heart rate ain't going up. You're not huffing and puffing, and then going to talk shit about me when you leave. <laughs> it's crazy, man. You know, and I'm sorry that, that that we we just have to make our bodies uncomfortable to get results. If you got a problem with that, you gotta to talk to God, bro. <laughs> like our bodies are made to move, so you gotta bring a level of intensity to the workout, man. So. Like, you know, for instance, um, Wednesday, which is today, is our, you know, full body and cardio day. So, I mean, we get it in. It's probably, it's probably, it might be the hardest day of the week for real, um, other than leg day. And so what people started doing was they just stopped coming on Wednesdays <laughs> to avoid a tough workout, to avoid a difficult workout, to avoid a workout they're going to struggle in. But it's like. That's what y'all are paying me for. Y'all are paying me for a result. If this was what the result requires, that's what you got to do. So since they don't come on Wednesday, I make them do it on Thursday or Friday when they come back. Listen, bro, I'm, I'm a vet in this game. I know all the tricks. I know everything. You're not about to get over on me. You come in, these, you come in this workout, you sign up with me, we get in this work. But avoiding a day or a certain workout, like, and that's what you need. You need to elevate your car, uh, cardiovascular system. You need to elevate your heart rate. Those are important things. Like, yeah, cardio is important. Strength training, strength training is probably more important, or, or number one on the list. Cardio will be number two. Well, I'm sorry, cardio will be number three. Nutrition, strength training, and cardio. But I mean, that's an essential part of the work. I got a, a couple people that didn't come today because they knew what Wednesday is. So I'm just going to make them do it tomorrow when they come back. Come on, man. You can't get over on me like that, bro. Then another thing, too, man, like, I hate when people say, like, they hit me up, oh, I'm going to take a break. Take a break for, you ain't getting no results. <laughs> nope. You didn't do nothing. What are you taking a break from? And this one girl, she I saw her today. She she didn't come back to me, but she just went in there and did a little cardio. You know, look, you know, hanging on, holding on to the rail while she, you know, walking on the incline. And it's like, yo, you, I mean, you took a break because of what? And now I understand stuff pops up financially, but let's be real, bro. And I've addressed this on podcast before. You taking a financial break, and I'm not I'm not about to disclose what I charge. You can find it even on the internet if you want to, what I charge. But if you can't put that aside to invest in your health and fitness, you're not serious, and I don't want you. I already told some of my clients, there's going to be some people that you will not see here with me again, because I ain't got time for it, bro. But um, yeah, if, you, if you're going to take a break, you need to have been on your grind. Showing up, you consistent. You in the gym five, six, sometimes even seven days a week. You know, doing something. You you got to earn the break, okay? 
and I always talk about it. You, we can put our bodies through more than what we think. All right. A lot of times our bodies, you think your body shut down because your mental shut down. You, you telling yourself that, but you know, there's stretching, there's treatment, there's recovery. We got stretch machines and uh, the the hyper ice, the hyper volt in the gym. We got, listen, there's ways to get around it, but you got to get on your grind. I always preach this. You got to get on your grind. Um, but yeah, it's a level of intensity you got to bring to the gym, man. So look, next thing I want to address, don't come in the gym with a stank ass attitude. Listen, leave the attitude at home. I ain't got time for it. I'm not the one. Y'all see how I talk on this podcast? This is how I talk I talk I talk to my clients too if if I need to. You come in with an attitude, listen, uh-uh, that's not gonna fly. I'm responding back. I've asked people to go home before. I've sent people home. Like it, it, I don't care. And you're not about to waste my time. I'm not your boyfriend, I'm not your husband, I'm not your kids, I'm not your mother, father, I'm not your grandfather, grandmother, I'm not your cousins. I'm not your co-workers. I'm not the one. I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy, pal. <laughs> I'm not that guy, pal. Don't come in with an attitude, man. Like, this one girl yesterday, she um, she has some car issues, right? And mind you, I'm so locked into this training stuff, bro. And I, I'm kind of, it's a level of selfishness. The girl asked me, do I have jumper cables? And I was like, uh, no. And maybe I did, maybe I didn't. <laughs> maybe I did, maybe I didn't. But my thing is, when I got my morning routine, I got to, if I, I need you to bring a certain level of intensity to the gym, I got to bring a certain level to, of intensity to the gym. Not not like crazy intense going crazy, but I got to be, because I'm, I'm naturally an introvert. So I got to be in the right mind state to, to help y'all, to coach y'all, to be active, to have to be energetic, to have some energy. So I, I was like, I, I'm sorry, I can't help you. You know, I got I got to get to the gym. So she come up with an attitude. You you didn't have no cables. You couldn't help me. That I had to call the, the I'm like, what are you? I'm not. What the what are you talking? I'm your trainer. What are you talking about? Then she had an attitude the whole workout. It's too heavy. I can't lift it. Waste your waste your money. Waste my time. Uh uh-uh. uh. So we gonna we gonna see what happens at the end of this month. If she if she does not come back, that's it. But I I ain't, I, ain't, I don't got time for that stuff, man. And then another thing that gets on my nerves too. You coming in looking for the easiest workout? I'll demonstrate the workout. Give people the weights. Can we do modified? Uh, I have to do the, the 40? Uh, can I do 30? Is there? Do, can No. Do what I... Do the weight I put out there. I'm trying to help y'all. We got goals. We got stuff to do. You so focused on on not having a little bit of pain or not... It, what's more painful? This, this These squats or looking in the mirror and seeing that belly belly? Down the Marco, Marco. Right, come on, man. It's just it's just crazy, man. And then another girl. Listen, man. The girl, I'm not going to lie, bro. This girl the other day was like, hey, I stopped. My uh, my waist stopped shrinking. So I'm sitting there. I'm talking. I, I hate giving people game and you don't apply it. I'm sitting here telling her, increase your protein intake. Are you drinking a gallon of water? Are you, what are you doing for cardio? You need to uh, maybe do some a little more intense cardio. Put the incline on. I'm dropping the game to her, right? She's like, all right, well, I guess I'll do it. Da, da, da. She coming the next day. I tell her to warm up. It's a it's a five-minute jog on the curve treadmill. If you, see, if you watch some of my workouts or some of my vlogs, you've seen the curve treadmill. And um, she's on there walking. And I'm like, "What, yo, What? we're not here to walk. This is a warm-up. The point of a warm-up is to elevate your heart rate. And, and real talk, you should be breaking a sweat in your warm-up. It don't have to be nothing intense, but you should break a sweat. You, you warm your body up to prevent injuries, right? And she's like, it's 6 a.m. <laughs> Come on, y'all. What does that have to do with anything, man? 
You've been working out at 6 a.m. going to be forever. But it's just like, don't complain about the results if you're not going to do what I'm asking you to do, man. And um, listen, whether the obstacle is getting up early, having the kids, um, work is stressing you, family stressing you, relationships, no matter what it is, somebody went through that same exact issue you're going through and still lost weight. Dog, it's dudes that's handicapped in the gym. It's dudes with no legs, ripped up, six-pack, more ripped up than me, six-pack better than mine in the gym. No excuses, get into it. And it's just like everybody wants to be like this special victim and this, this victim mentality and how it's so hard for them and why this girl or this guy could lose weight and they can't. Shut up. Stop the cap. Listen. Get the work. Figure it out. And like I always say, don't blame the circumstance if you're not doing what you're supposed to do. If you're not doing step one, step two, step three. I had to talk with two people today. I'm like, y'all been here for a year. And y'all are still active three days a week. Sitting on your ass four days a week. And now you're talking about you're discouraged about... Your progress, cause you're not, cause the scale ain't moving. I'm like, you gotta do more. Your body adapted to coming in here three days a week and sitting on your ass four days a week. You gonna stop changing. You gonna have to cut out cheat meals. You gonna have to cut out the alcohol. You know, I I, I need to do an alcohol, an alcohol episode. But you know, I'm just like, yo, if you if you're if you're supposed to eat 15, 1600 calories in a day, 1800 calories in a day, and you have two drinks, they're 400 calories each. That's 800. You have you're already at half of what you need to, of your of your caloric intake for the day. You already halfway there. And I know you ate at the restaurant too. So you probably surpassed that just at that restaurant. Not to mention the other meals you ate that day. <sighs> man, tough job, bro. But yeah, man, the attitude's got to go. I can, I ain't got time for that. I'm not waking. I'm not waking up every morning to be dealing with no attitudes, dog. It's disrespectful, and you're not serious. There's no need for it, bro. Another thing, too, man. Some of the stuff that's holding y'all back, it's been the same shit holding y'all back for years, right? Y'all be quick to criticize somebody, but y'all can't even fix your own bullshit. If a waiter or a waitress at the restaurant mess up your order, you quick to, oh my God, you're terrible. I didn't ask for it, da 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 I asked for it, da-da. You quick to criticize somebody else, but you're not criticizing your own bullshit. Your weakness is alcohol. You've been training with me for years. Your weakness is alcohol. Your weakness is going to the club. Your weakness is um, not knowing how to say no. Your weakness is having a sweet tooth. Always got to eat sweets after dinner. Uh, whatever your weakness is, after a while, you got to break out of that. You got to break out of that. You don't want to do extra cardio on the weekends after a year or two training with me and you're not changing. Maybe I should freaking try some cardio on the weekend or try some cardio when I'm not with Chris. Because I'm not here to babysit. I'm here to guide you. But you got to listen to what I'm saying. You know? Um, and then, like, I ask people if they work out over the weekend, they'll say, yes, they're lying. You're lying. Because if you did work out over the weekend... You wouldn't be huffing and puffing like that, right? What'd you do for the workout? Oh, I went for a walk. <coughs> I walked the dog. That counts, right? <coughs> what? So I had the baby in a stroller and I walked the baby around the neighborhood. <coughs> nope. What? What y'all talking about? I went for a hike. Now, can a hike be great exercise? Of course. But it's not 
high intensity like you would be doing hit at the gym so yeah if i haven't seen you in a week and all you did was a hike you're gonna struggle in the gym i had a girl the other day um i was like yo what are you eating because you've been here so long you're you should not be struggling like this these are workouts you've done before you should not be struggling like this and she was like oh it's not what i eat it's the air quality so you're telling me that what you eat doesn't affect your workout? It's not what I ate. It's and y'all, y'all think y'all know it all, and I don't know it all, but I know more than you about this shit. That's why you pay me. <laughs> but it's just like yo, you're not even willing to accept that you fucked up here. You fucked up here. I made a mistake. I should have ate this. I shouldn't have ate that. You can't even acknowledge that. So it's gonna be hard. To fix your shit. Because you can't even acknowledge that there's a problem, man. And then, man, it's just like, yo, I'm asking simple things. Like, you got to be able to, to to do the simple things I'm asking. I know sometimes it might be hard to drink a gallon. It might be hard to, uh, to you know, go to the gym early on a Saturday morning before your Saturday activities, before your weekend uh, festivities. You got to do what you got to do, though. But one thing I'm not going to tolerate is you in my face cheating reps not doing what I ask you to do. Bro, people, dog, I had a dude the other day. I counted his reps out loud and it was 10 reps. He was like, that was 14. You counting slow. I'm like, bro, you got a, another type of, I'm counting out loud too. I'm like, bro, you, you, why, what am I trying to make you do extra reps for, bro? <laughs> Crazy. I had another guy, man. We were doing sets of 20 sit-ups. We were doing the supersetting with something. I can't remember what we were supersetting with. We were doing 20 sit-ups. Right? Tell him, do the 20 sit-ups. I, I turned like this to talk, tell, talk to somebody. Somebody called my name. Turned back. He got weights on his feet helping him with the sit-ups. Nope. I didn't tell you to do that. I said 20 sit-ups. I said, bro, take the weight off your feet. Well, well, I'm, I'm, I'm sliding too much. Well, you know, I t- <laughs> you've been here two years and you and you can't do a sit up. Come on, man. So then um, I'm like, bro, take the waist off, bro. Like, stop. I say I don't care if it's if you got to do five at a time. You're not putting weights on your feet to help you with sit ups, bro. So then somebody else called me. Boom. Oh yeah, ten, fifteen more. Da da da. Turn back to him. He got his feet up against the bench, assisting him. I'm like, bro, if you're going to cheat right in my face, I'm like, I know you're not eating right. I know you're not doing a meal plan. I know you're not doing no extra cardio. But yeah, man, if, if you're going to cheat in my face, bro, I, I, I just know you're not serious about your results, man. So, look, it... <laughs> We got to stop the complaining if we're not going to do, if you're not going to do what you, what the trainer's asking you to do, man. Another thing too, man, we, we wrapping up soon, man. I just, I just, I just got to share the, share with y'all, you know, what happens in the life of a trainer and what makes a good client, right? You know, if I text you, right, and I shouldn't even have to, t- if we set a time to train, I shouldn't have to text you, but some people got a tendency to miss sessions and sleep in, so I text them. Right, yo, you still coming? If I don't hear from you from you within forty five minutes of your session, thirty minutes of your session, I'm leaving the gym. You should have your phone. You should be up, ready, have your phone available. Yeah, I'm on the way. I'll be there soon. If you don't text me back, I'm leaving. You're not about to leave me hanging at the gym. And like that lets me know that your shit ain't together. That lets me know that you're scrambling. That lets me know that you're not. Serious. I don't have time for it, man. But, you know, I, I'm, I'm at the point now where, you know, I only want to deal with serious people, you know. And, you know, unfortunately, my way of training, which is, you know, consists of mostly strength training. And we do we do cardio as well um, and, and some mobility work. But my way of training, you have to eat right. You got to be able to hold yourself accountable. And I'm at the point now where... Um, you know, I'm trying to step my fitness up as well. I'm not trying to deal with people like that. And, um, 
you know, some people want to come back and train and, you know, I'm telling them, no, they're not coming back. They're not serious. Um, and uh, somebody was like, you just going to turn down money like that? Listen, all money ain't good money. I don't need no headaches to come in with the money. It's okay. I'll be fine. I'd rather make a little bit less and and, and, and have a, have smooth sessions and have everything go well, man. It's just a fact. It's just the truth. But, um, yeah, man. <laughs> Another episode of the Less Bunches, More Crunches podcast. Appreciate you watching. Please like, comment, subscribe to the page. Um, keep sending me videos. You know, I do a lot of reaction videos, but today, you know, I had to switch it up. Sometimes I just I just like to talk to y'all, get some stuff off of my chest. Um, you might be able to relate to some things. Some of these things maybe you've done to, to a trainer before. Maybe you were annoying to a trainer and didn't know you were annoying. So um, I just had to let you know. And, uh... You know, y'all know my intent. My intent is is to help and educate here. I know I make jokes and people get offended sometimes, but it's all love, man. I'm trying to help everybody. Um, you know, I want to help as many people as I can. I'm really passionate about fitness and I love it. And I know what it can do for you if you stick with it, what it can do for you physically and mentally and, and how it can build your character and make you become a better person. So with all that being said, Appreciate y'all watching the Less Brunches, More Crunches podcast, watching another episode. I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. We back to the reaction videos because I seen some bullshit the other day. And we out. Honestly, I mean, they're one of the best friends in DMV.